identities. Usually what happens is you're given an expression with a bunch of trig stuff on one side of an equation, an expression with a bunch of trig stuff on the other side of the equation, and you're told to prove that the right side and the left side are the same all the time. That is what an identity is. The right and the left side are true no matter what value you're <coughs> able to put in. Now, as you might get, how many of you have done this before? Now, when you did it before, people gave you one and let you write your, have fun, write it all, figure it out until you got one side to look just like the other side. Well, unfortunately, web work doesn't take things like that. So the web work's going to look a little funny, and I'll prepare you for that. The things we need to know in order to be able to verify trig identities are some basic trig stuff. So we need to be able to write the Pythagorean theory, use the Pythagorean identities, and we need to be able to rewrite anything we have in terms of sines and cosines. Those are our two basic methods in this section for verifying trig identities. Remember our Pythagorean identity, the basic one was sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Hopefully you've all got this somewhere, but we're going to hit every trig identity uh, that we have gone through in this class right now so that you'll know all the things that you can do. And I'm going to put the other two versions up here while I check off the last few people. Come on again, let's see. Brittany, Gigi. These two versions of the Pythagorean identity, by the way, I personally never use. I always change things when I'm using different identities and signs and cosines, so this is the only one I ever need. But on test, we will give you all three versions. I don't know why you hate them, but we give them to you. Reciprocal identities. This was what your book called reciprocal identities. If you recall, I called these, some of them at least, definitions. So your sine is the same of an angle is the same thing as 1 over the cosecant of the angle. The cosine is 1 over the secant of the angle. The tangent of the angle is 1 over the cotangent. The cosecant is 1 over the sine, the secant is 1 over the cosine, and the tangent is 1, uh, excuse me, cotangent is 1 over the tangent. You should have all those down. They're basically definitions. How many of you are writing them all down so I should slow down? Okay, I'll slow down. This is another reason I use a lot of this. How many of you printed this out ahead of time? Did you see there's just one example at the end? Because by the time we get through this, that's not all we can get to. Though, go, go, go. Just so that you won't be bored, I do have additional possibilities to work through so that we'll have fun. Let me know if. over there. The rest of them are over here because they're derived from it. 
these are ideas that we won't hit until uh, next Friday, I believe. And related ones to it. Again, these are identities that we'll hit next Friday and the following as the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And I think, oh, no, no, the Friday after that. The Wednesday of the 10th, the 19th. And these are related to it. And then I think we ignored those all together. But a lot of the ones are here. The rest of them, you can print them out if you really want to. Or you can write down as many as you feel like you need. I don't know if you said it would be need. How long I'm writing for the test? Which test are we talking about? Both. Finally. So test number three only is going to go through 5.1. Okay. So for instance, these, I don't consider them identities, so I would not put them on the test in terms of you would need to know these for reciprocal work. The Pythagorean identity, however, that is on the test, even though most of you won't need it because you'll know it, but that one is printed on the test for you. Uh, quotient identities also, oops, I will not print on the test because I think of these more as definitions than identities. It's just your book that believes these are identities. So the tangent is the sine of the angle divided by the cosine of the angle, and the cotangent is the cosine of the angle divided by the sine of the angle. And you've seen all these before. All right. And then we also went through the even odd identities. And when we did this, you recall that the sine and the cosecant, the tangent and the cotangent were all odd functions and the cosine and the secant were even functions. And that's all that these say. That's what those identities are telling you. Again, most of the problems we do, we're not actually going to need these. triangles is the way to go, so it's not really an identity issue anymore. So, 